Welcome to the devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence and I give you thanks and I give you praise, Lord, for this beautiful start of the week that you have given us. Thank you for our life and our health. Thank you for your companionship. Thank you, Father God, for all of the services that went on across the world yesterday. Thank you for allowing us to feel the touch of your Holy Spirit. Father, I thank you and I praise you because your Holy Spirit is moving within our congregations. He is moving and touching those lives that are struggling with their faith. He's touching those who have walked away and bringing them back. Father God, I thank you. I praise you for the transformation work that you are doing in our church across the world. Father, I ask that you will be with this devotional today. Lord, you know what you have in store for us. And I ask you, Father God, that you will give us the faith that we need to believe your word, that you will allow us the wisdom on how to apply your word to our lives. Father, our faith is not in vain. We know that. And you complete our faith. You work in our lives to teach to guide, to rebuke, to counsel, to comfort. Father, we bless your holy name. Lord, I ask one more time that your Holy Spirit will be within this devotional. Teach us what you want us to learn. Help us to know how to apply it. In Jesus' name, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, When the Ground Moves. It was written by Sandra Sunsa, translated by Maria Elena Cardona, and brought to you by your sister Lisa Hernandez. And this once again is taken from our book, Mesa de Fe. Our biblical base comes from Psalms chapter 6, verses 1 through 4. So says the word of God. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or chasten me in your hot displeasure. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are troubled. My soul also is greatly troubled. But you, O Lord, how long? Return, O Lord, deliver me. Oh, save me for your mercy's sake. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. In recent days, we have heard of the natural disaster that this world is witnessing. Earthquakes are among the most destructive due to their effects and dimensions. An earthquake can be conceptualized as the sudden movement of the earth that originates due to the accumulation of energy over a long time. Although seismology experts make more efforts every day to try to predict where and when they occur, they are still far from achieving this goal. Something similar happens in our lives. There are moments when you can enjoy sweet calm, when problems seem resolved. Your body is healthy, you enjoy love and frank smiles invade your face. However, sometimes, without suspecting it, and suddenly, the ground moves. And in an instant, we see our life collapse, our dreams disappear, and we run the risk of losing the meaning of life. It is then that our smile is replaced by an image of pain. Dear listener, when at some point in your life, unfortunate things happen to you, when the ground moves, when hope runs out, when there is no hand around to hold you up and all the supporting columns of your life have shattered under the weight of anguish, place your feet on the immovable rock of ages, Jesus Christ. He is the perfect foundation. In him, you will never slip. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we have a hope that is firm and secure. And our hope is Jesus Christ. No matter what happens, no matter what storm comes our way, no matter how many waves rise up against us and how many winds force us from one direction to the next, 
we do not have to be moved because our anchor is Jesus Christ. He is the one who keeps us steady when the ground moves. He is the one who keeps us secure when the winds and storms of life threaten to top us over. He is the one when the support columns all around us of our support system, of our financial security, of our relationships, when they all crumble and fall. He is the one who holds us in place. He is our unmovable rock. My brothers and sisters, when the ground moves, we can be confident in the anchor of Jesus Christ. My brothers, do not be moved for anything in this world. Keep your eyes focused on the rock of our salvation. Keep your eyes focused on the eternity that we are striving for, that we are sojourners in the path to our salvation is eternity in heaven with God in glory. My brothers and sisters, do not be moved when the ground moves, but place your hope, your strength, your focus in Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory. Like the woman at the well, I was seeking for things that could not satisfy. And then I heard my Savior speaking, drop from my well that never shall run dry. Fill my cup, Lord, I lift it up. What a beautiful song. And now, my brothers and sisters, I invite you once again to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen.